No, we can't allow that, I'm afraid. Mary must not be disturbed. I want you to tell me about the fire. No. I don't want to talk about it, please. I'm trying to help you, Mary. No, I don't want the fire. Where did it start? In the wooden hut. The wind. And changed and the flame spread so quickly. Go on. Across the knocking pen and the steers stampeded. Oh, I don't want to remember anymore, please. You must, Mary. But I don't want to go back there. Try to remember what happened. Door. It's locked. I can smell burning. Rubber. The door is red, bright red, and so hot. The room. What can you see in the room? There's a scatter gun on the wall. And a safe. The safe? Is there a name on it? Yes. Read it, Mary. The Lynxville Corporation, Detroit. Go on, Mary. What can you feel? It was so cool at first. I was all right. Safe from the flames and the steers and the screaming. But the fire came faster and faster. The door is red, bright red, and my body is burning. Why didn't the men come and help me? Oh, help me, please, help me! It, help me! It's all right, Mary. It's all over now. It's all right. <sighs> when I snap my fingers, <sighs> you will wake up and remember nothing. Can I go home soon? You mean to in the house, Mary? Yes, that's right. Have you ever been there? It's a wonderful place. Dr. Haynes, there's someone to see you. Thank you. Tell Dr. Ashley all about in the house and your friends there. <laughs> Won't be long. Do you know where in the house is? No. It's in Scotland, on the island of Bala, hundreds of miles away. I'm sorry, Miss Foster. I'm not making any statements to the press. <laughs> Is that what the Van Trillian people told you to say? It's the uh, policy of the hospital. Is it also your policy to refuse a mother's rights to see her child? Mrs. Hart. You know her? No, but I'd like to speak to her. Do you know where she is? Why do you want to know? I need her help. Please tell me where she is. <laughs> I can't do that. But I can arrange a meeting. For the three of us? When? This afternoon. I'll be in touch. Bye. Auntie Helen was very nice to me. But she died. She said Mary Valley was a prettier name than Mary Harb. Do you think so? I think it is, on the Mary, way. would you like to meet your real mummy? When can I go back to Inver House? You see, I was ill last winter, so we're having a Guy Fawkes night on my birthday, next week. Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, sorry I'm late. No, you're ten minutes early. Exactly where are we going? To Anna Harp's flat. She lives just across the road. What's wrong with being early, then? Look, Dr. Haynes, we play it my way or we don't play it at all. Then try to play it straight, that's all. What else? Now, look, I know it's your job to get a story, but it's my job to make that child well. And that, to me, is the only important thing. Let's have some tea. There must be someone in the market. Mm. You think the shock treatment would help? Seeing a mother could trigger an emotional release and break a nightmare. Hmm. Do you know anything at all about Anna Hart? 
Only that she's Mary's mother. Hey, my love. Ah. Tea, please, love. Oh, no, Sorry, mate. Uh, tea or coffee? Uh, tea, please. Two teas, please. This, uh, this nightmare, is it violent? It relates to something violent, yes. Why? Well, Anna Harp was in Broadmoor for murder. She had Mary while she was working as a prostitute. Well, why do you tell me that now? I thought you ought to know. Thank you, very much. Would you like to change your mind about this meeting? No, I wouldn't. Oh. It's all right. Sugar? Okay. Have you got any ideas about heredity or genetics? I thought your angle was the human anguish of mother and child, torn apart. Always open to variations on a theme, Doctor. Mm. A bloodline of depravity. Won't wash. Maybe not scientifically, but it makes great reading. Oh, I see. The higher realms of modern journalism. That's how I make my bread. Besides, we both know you're taking a terrible risk with that little girl. The meeting will take place under control conditions in the hospital. There will be little or no risk. And it won't happen unless I'm certain that Anna Harb is completely genuine. I want is an exclusive interview after they've met. With the mother, not the child, and outside the hospital. Why, are you afraid I'm going to make waves? Anna Harb can take care of herself. The child can't. She's my responsibility. And nothing must go wrong. Yes, doctor. Never burned or scolded. Not all the time she was with me. I was a good mother. But she was taken away from you when she was seven years old. Yeah, I was on the game, wasn't I? That and the ten years in Broadmoor. Mind you, that's before Mary ever happened. Well, it still counts. Why should it? I've still got a right to my own child. You're positive she was never involved in any sort of fire? I told you, didn't I? Look, why don't you ask them trustees? They're the ones that have had my Mary these past three years. And they've taken very good care of her. Oh, is that why she's sick in the head? Look, it isn't me that's had her bottled up on that bloody island, but just because they're stinking rich, they think they can get away with anything, and to hell with the likes of me, well, I'll show them. I'm going to teach them different. The Van Trellen Trust is a responsible organisation, Mrs. Harb. Don't you come that with me. It's their doctors that took Mary, and it's doctors like you that put me inside, so don't you come that with me, mister. Now, Dr. Haynes is trying to help Mary. Then make them give her back to me. I'm sorry, I have no authority to do that. I swear to you, she'll come to no harm. She's in trouble and I can save her. I know it. How can you tell? See it in your crystal ball? It's in me. And in Mary. Deeper than you'll ever know. That's why she's got to be back with me. I can't promise that. But I can arrange for you to see her at the hospital. Do that, and you'll be forever blessed. My hope is that you can help me break a nightmare. I'd do anything to help her. I'd give my life for her. But if you're lying to me, if this is some kind of trick, I'll kill you. Aren't you afraid I'll dirty up your antiseptic world? 